Are you looking for an easy way to connect polytubing directly to PVC pipe? Polytubing is the better choice for some irrigation applications, particularly drip irrigation, but that doesn't mean you can't take advantage of your existing PVC infrastructure. Here are three easy ways to connect polytubing to PVC pipe in your irrigation system. There are tons of different part combinations to connect PVC to polytubing, but I've simplified it down to three main methods. And I've linked down below to the three methods that an everyday DIYer will be best served by for ease of installation and reliability. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to do and which method is gonna work best for you. This first method is probably the most straightforward and most inexpensive, but it's also the most limited. And there's two ways to do it. Both of them work out pretty much the same. One method is the DIY method and is cheaper per unit and offers a wider range of tubing sizes available, but requires an extra step of assembly. And the other is a bit more expensive per unit, but is a specialized part that is easier to install and works for the most common size of one half inch tubing. If you're just going to make one connection, the PVC to poly coupling will be your best choice, but anything over one coupling and the DIY choice becomes more cost effective if you don't mind the extra labor time involved. For the DIY method, you're gonna need a slip-by-slip -slip PVC fitting. This can be any fitting configuration you need like a T, elbow, coupling, etc. As long as you have a half inch slip on the end where you need to connect your poly tubing, you're ready to go. These only come in a one half inch slip size for one half inch tubing. So if your PVC pipe is three quarters inch or larger, you'll have to reduce down with a PVC reducer first. The only exception is if you want to adapt to three quarters inch tubing. In that case, you'll need a three quarters inch PVC fitting. Okay, here's how to install this compression adapter method. First, glue your adapter into your PVC fitting. Next, glue the fitting into your PVC pipe. Then you'll wanna wait until your glue dries before the next step. Then all you have to do is push your poly tubing into the adapter until it's secure. If you wanna save yourself a little bit of time, you can use the PVC to poly coupling. You'll still need to glue the adapter to your PVC pipe, but you'll save a little bit of time gluing in the compression ring. This method, Though very simple and straightforward and inexpensive, does have the drawback that compression fittings are only compatible with very specific sizes of tubing. The black insert adapter, for example, is only compatible with tubing that has a 0 0.700 inch outside diameter. You can get them in different colors, but they are only compatible with that specific size of tubing. If you know the outside diameter of your pipe, we have quite a few options for the insert gluing adapter. So you don't have to limit yourself to the 0 0.700 outside diameter like you do with the PVC to poly couplings. Now, if you're not sure what the outside diameter of your pipe is, check out the video there in the top right and we'll teach you how to get that. So if you have a 0 0.680 outside diameter, for example, it would not be compatible with this compression ring. So one method is very straightforward and then take a little bit more time. If you wanna save a little bit of time and spend just a little bit more, you can go with the one that is already assembled. Overall, I would only recommend either of these methods if price is your number one concern. If not, there are much easier to install methods that offer more flexibility and options. I also don't recommend compression fittings to beginning DIYers, as inserting your polytubing into these fittings can be challenging. Plus, once you make these connections, they are permanent on both ends. If you make a mistake or want to change things down the road, the entire connection will need to be cut out and cannot be reused. So we've got some methods coming up where if you need to, you can replace it and change it without having to throw any fittings away and redo the whole thing. Really quick, before I cover the next method, help others find this video by hitting the like button. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. I read and reply to all the questions we get. This next method is the socket spigot method, the most direct method because it only requires one fitting. If you use this fitting as a socket, all you have to do is glue it over your PVC pipe and you're ready to go directly to poly. Now, one nice thing about this method is it's pretty flexible. There's quite a few fittings out there and perhaps best of all is that these fittings can be used as a spigot or a socket. For a spigot install, just connect it to a PVC fitting the same size as the adapter's spigot size. There's a few different polytubing connection types available, and you can choose between a barbed connection or a lock style connection. These are great because these two work on any size one half inch tubing out there. Plus, they are available for three quarters inch and one inch polytubing as well. They can also connect to larger size PVC pipe like three quarters, one and one and one quarter inch. But 
there is no way to directly connect one half inch PVC pipe without an additional reducer fitting. This third method, the threaded pipe adapter method, is probably the most versatile because it creates a threaded connection. This means it's reusable, you can reconfigure it at any time just by unscrewing the part and moving it around. In addition to that, there is wide adoption of pipe threaded fittings for polytubing, even microtubing adapters that allow you to just add a handful of drippers to targeted areas. We'd consider those more of a conversion adaption, and this is commonly done when you want to convert a sprinkler zone to drip. We've got a video you can check out in the top right or description below that shows you exactly how to convert your sprinkler heads to drip. First, get a slip by female pipe threaded PVC fitting and a male pipe thread poly tubing adapter. Then all you really have to do is use your primer and solvent to glue on this PVC slip by female pipe thread adapter then you can thread in your male pipe thread by poly tubing adapter and you're ready to get your PVC pipe directly over to the tubing. For a watertight connection, you'll want to add some thread sealant like thread sealant tape, commonly known as Teflon tape, or a non-hardening plastic safe liquid thread sealant. You're not limited to a single run of poly tubing when you connect poly tubing to your PVC pipe. For example, using the exact same method, if you wanted to split your tubing in two directions, you could just get this thread by tubing tee. Then, your tubing can go in both directions. You can get these male pipe thread T fittings in either barbed connections or lock style connections. But what if you don't want to connect your poly tubing to the end of your PVC pipe run? Well, that's perfectly acceptable. You can do it in line as well by using a PVC slip by female pipe thread T. In that case, just like always, I would glue my pipe in. And then if I wanted to, I could use the poly tubing T to run my tubing either direction or the straight adapter. And now this allows me to have a poly tubing run in line on my PVC pipe. You can also do this with an elbow, which is commonly used when you have a riser or PVC pipe teed off vertically. Now, one thing I really like about this method is you can include some utility as well. For example, if you want an on off functionality where your pipe transition to your tubing. If you need to on off, it works the same way. Using your primer and solvent, glue your PVC fitting on, and then you can get your male pipe threads by polytubing adapter valve, and you have some easy on off right where the pipe transitions. And this can come apart at any time as you need to reconfigure it, if you need to move things, if you need to replace a part, you just simply unscrew the fitting. These valves also come as barbed fittings, which are more economical if you're installing a lot of these, but on a small scale, the lock style fittings are a good use for this application because they are completely reusable, they're very easy to use, and you don't need to buy clamps like you do with a lot of barb insert fittings. You simply turn the locking nut and your polytubing is secured to the barb. Using the different style fitting, like a barbed insert fitting or a drip lock fitting, is the exact same thing. You simply glue your PVC adapter in place, and then you're ready to thread in your fitting. Now, some people really like the drip lock fittings because they're very easy to use. They're great for some of the diminished hand strength to put things together. Very easy to put together, not as easy to take apart. So I would consider the lock style fittings better in the reusability department, but nothing is easier than connecting your tubing to a drip lock fitting. If you wanna see a video where I break down which poly tubing connection type is best for your specific project, check out the video in the top right or description below. Pipe threaded adapters have the most selection in terms of poly tubing connection types, like barbed, lock style, and drip lock, but also with size compatibility and fitting configuration. Between male threaded and female threaded PVC adapters, you have tons of options from one half inch, three quarters inch, one inch, and tees, elbows, and couplings. Ultimately, you can choose which approach best fits your difficulty to install comfort level, along with price considerations, configuration needs, and flexibility of reuse. But what about for those who don't have or don't want to use primer and solvent? Well, that's okay too. You can use a PVC lock fitting. This works a lot like a drip lock tubing fitting. You simply push the pipe firmly into the end of the fitting and the teeth inside will grab a hold of it. Then you can use a female pipe threaded adapter like this to go straight to your poly tubing. And that way you can do everything we just did with the other parts, but without needing primer and solvent. If you've got a small project, there's no need to buy a pint of primer and solvent. You could just use a PVC lock fitting. And it's also a lot less messy. These lock style adapters are just perfect for a DIYer because they have a gasket inside. So no messing around with thread sealant, just thread this on and you're ready to attach your poly tubing. But we still recommend thread sealant for a long lasting, reliable connection. It's just not mandatory if you need to make a temporary connection. 
If you prefer, you can also use female pipe threaded PVC lock fittings. One thing all these methods have in common is they work with different types of poly tubing fittings, from barbed insert to compression to lock style and drip lock. But what fitting is best for you? If you'd like to learn, check out our video guide right there.